Atlas car. I yelled her name, and then she came back out from Atlas car, and she didn't have it. So I went behind Atlas car, grabbed it, and there's a squirrel. Dead. It's a dead squirrel. There's blood hanging out of its mouth. But it's not, like, punctured or anything. And its tail is beautiful. I'm not going to skin it now because I want to put it in the freezer and freeze it so it kills all the parasites. So, these knives I'm using are very sharp. They're for skinning. We got them at, um, I can't remember where we got them. Anyways, so I put this in the freezer yesterday so it stayed preserved. And then I put it out here in the sun so it would thaw. Now, we're gonna skin it. Oh yes, thank you, perfect. Yes! I did it! I did it! I got the tail out! This tail, right here, is broken. I, well, I think it's broken. It's very, well, not very straight, is it? <laughs> so I didn't, I, I didn't know if it was going to come out or not. And it did very, oh, I'm very happy now. Now, oh, yes! to get all the blood off, especially around its face, I'm using just this soap. Yeah. So let's see. Red, white, and blue squirrels going down there while I personally am soaking. So, now we're going to flesh the squirrel. I let it dry for a little bit. So now we're fleshing it. This is just a regular board that is um, sanded off and cut the sides so it's rounder, sandy. Yeah. And this is a fleshing knife that we bought off the internet. Alright, 
Now we're done flushing. We're going to salt it. Yep. All right. Now you want to rub it in. Be very, very generous with the salt. You want it to be everywhere around the hide. Everywhere, everywhere. Okay. Well, anywhere except for the fur. This is not iodized salt. We're going to leave it here overnight. And then in the morning, we'll pick it back up and probably salt it again. But our only problem is our two cats. Time to resalt. Still adding more salt, and I'm going to salt this probably two or three times, probably only two times, but three if I feel like I need to. You know, make sure it's rubbed in really good. Very generous with the salt. So I'm going to shake all the salt off as best as I can, and then... Well, I'm still doing that. No, while I'm still doing that. But after that, after this, I'm going to do a bath. I'm going to use soap. Dawn soap, hopefully. If any other soap, it will probably work. And then I let it dry. And in the morning, I will tan it. And then let it dry. And then stretch it. And then it'll be done. Now, time to wash it. Get the book started. Good. Hopefully okay, this will get the rest of the salt out and wash it more. My mother really wants it to be washed. It's a little slimy. Okay, we're gonna rinse it, then we're gonna hang it to dry. Looks like it just got scared by an owl or something. Poof! All of his fur. <laughs> his tail. Alright, let's hang it to dry. We have a problem. His fur is really falling out here on the tail. I tried to air it out a little bit, but it didn't work very well. There's still water inside it. I tried to get all the water out by squeezing it, but whenever I squeezed it, it came off. The tip of the tail came off. So hopefully I'll be able to sew that back on whenever I'm done tanning it. That's pretty sad. But this part turned out pretty nicely. I stretched it a little bit to make it more pliable. This is the hide tanning formula we use. So what you have to do with it, what we do is have this mug, and then we heat water up, put the water in the mug, and then put the whole bottle in the mug. To heat up the hide tanning formula. And it's a little sticky, but it works really well. We already tanned a mink and a fox with this hide tanning formula. Let's get down to business. I'm just gonna start with that. Right here, I'm gonna some high tea and up into the tail if we can. And yes, into the legs too. It's kinda hard with this leg, it's just kinda a string. Let's move on to the other leg. Now 
it's time to stretch the squirrel. It's kind of small, so I don't really have anything to stretch it over. It's still a little tacky. It's much cuter whenever you flip its head inside out. Alright. Now I'm going to sew up all these holes down here. And then hopefully put little beady eyes in it. Make it scary. And then it'll be done! That's how you skin and tan a squirrel's hide. Um, I'm not gonna freeze it now. No, you're no, no, you're not gonna skin it now. Ah, it's next gun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sets off. Oh no! No, it's just punched up. What do you think? It looks disgusting. Agreed. What is it? The uh, white thing. Eggs. Why don't you kill it? Talk about like how. Whoa! There's a spider on my hand.